Wait, what's with you? What do you mean? You're usually decked out in your best power suit and heels by now. What's going on? Oh, I... You know what? I think I'm gonna work from home. I don't feel so great. Are you sick? Uh, maybe. It's probably just grief messing with me. Well, I can stay home if you want me to. Nice try. No, Mom, really, if you need anything... Oh, no, 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 no. I need for you to go to school. And think about what I said about Todd. I will. But I have to grieve, too. You know, in my own way. And I can't figure out anything about Todd until I do. Does that make sense? Of course, me. Of course it does. Jack, I saw these headlines you came up with. You, you, you're going after Star. You're coming after me. They're, they're, they're insensitive, they're, they're inaccurate, they're outrageous. They're, they're borderline libelous, and they're perfect. They are exactly what this company needs to sell newspapers. And if I were you in your position at your age, I would be doing exactly the same thing. You might be my son after all. You may not like it, but it's a fact, Jack. And here's the thing, okay? I've been gone for like eight years, and it seems like everything has changed. All right, DVDs, done. CDs finished. Successful daytime television talk shows completely obsolete. And the printed word is, is, is dead. And I need someone like you, someone with your youthful perspective, to point this company in the right direction. Jack, come on, what do you say? Please, will you stick around? You really think I want to work with the bastard who killed my father? So good to see you. I miss you so much. <laughs> Me too, Baya. You just you just keep getting taller and prettier. But but why didn't Mummy and Demi tell me you were visiting? Because I'm not. What do you mean? I've come to live with you. So this is the infamous David Vickers, huh? Mm -hmm. So it's just you looking after this pooch? Yes, Tina is off. Planning for the wedding. You know, I almost feel sorry for Natalie, but I guess... I guess it'll all be over soon, right? The wedding is tomorrow. Yes. In less than 24 hours, my twin will be marrying my ex fiance There's got to be a country song in that, huh? So that means you only have a day to deal with what you know. So I speak now. Or forever hold your peace. It was good seeing you. You too, Miss McVeigh. You remember what I said, okay? Okay. Hey, Lieutenant. Thank you. Well, you still have a way with them. Oh, well, I, I'm i sure my current students would disagree with you. Hmm. Just got done uh, packing up Mike, and you said you'd be here. Are you going to leave without saying goodbye? I know. I know that goodbyes aren't your thing, really. No. No, but for you, I will make an exception. Oh, John. You are going to be sorry you did. Um, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because I just heard you on the phone. You said John's name, and you told him to seize the day. Damn. Damn. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, good! The dress is here! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this baby. I hope it sparkles. Oh, actually, it is the picture of taste and Uh, B-O-A-R-I-N-G. No, no. Natty's got to stand out. I just hope that my vaccinator doesn't outshine the brides. A uh, vaccinator? Yeah, it's, you know, that kind of like hat thing, you know, that kind of looks like it's growing out of your forehead. What, like a horn? I think Roxy means a fascinator. Tina, is the seating chart in here? Oh, yes. Thank you, Vicky. Okay. Julie, I am so happy for you. I mean, this time tomorrow, you are going to be taking your vows with your soulmate. You won't make the same mistake I did with Cord. What mistake? You mean my sister never told you about the time I almost married the wrong guy? You seriously think I want to spend time here bonding with you? After you killed my father? You take my life, Victor. I take yours. You lied to the cops. I wasn't even there that night. Doesn't mean it isn't true. Charges were dropped. So? So? 
Jack, I'm your father. I'm your father. I was there when you were born. And then you gave me away. But I got you back. And I swore that I would do anything I could. I would spend the rest of my life trying to make it up to you. Here I am. I'm standing right here, and I'm begging you, please, give me the chance to make it up to you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be pressuring you about your father. It's okay. It's just I feel like I've been so wrapped up in my own grief and suffering, missing Victor, trying to find out who killed him, that I've been neglecting you. Well, you're here, aren't you? Remember what we said after the funeral? We both miss Victor, so we're in this together. Do you think it'll make us feel better? What? Finding out who killed him. I don't know. But your uncle Tomas seems to think so. Police's trails run cold, so he wants to use his CIA contacts. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's got to help. I hope so. Does he have any leads? Not yet, but he's got to turn up something. Anything is better than having no clue who did this to him. I thought about you every moment. Well, every moment that I was lucid enough to think, Jack. I, I wondered, you know, if you still had training wheels, if you were mouthing off to your teachers. Now look at you. You're practically a grown man. And I missed all of it. And I'm, I'm asking you for the honor of getting to know you. You want to get to know me? How about we get to know you first? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't kill my father. You've come to live with me and Brahma? But, but what about school? I can't go here? What? No, 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 of course not. You, how did you even get here? I'm practically an adult female. I can take a plane by myself. Do Mumbi and Jumbi know you're here? Yes, they're the ones who sent me. Doesn't it make sense? They want me to learn in an American school so I can grow up to be as successful as you. Was that so? Well, then, how come they didn't tell me? It was to be a surprise. They knew you and Rama would welcome me into your home. No, of course. Of course we will. But I'm sure they'll want to know that you made it safe, so I'll just call I them. I called them as soon as I landed. Oh, well, I'll just tell them that you made it safe to my place of work. Dino, no, you can't call them. Why not? They don't know you're here, do they? Well, believe it or not, I thought that I was madly in love with Max. I mean, I really thought I was happy that, that I belonged with him. But it turned out it was just denial. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Max is a great guy and everything. And, and it's not like I didn't love him. I, I did. He, he just wasn't cord. And you know what? I stayed in that denial right down to the wedding. I mean, we got to the altar to take our vows, and that denial just blew up right in my face. What happened? Okay, well, Max and I got to the altar to say our vows, and then all of a sudden it just slipped out, and I said, I, Tina, take the cord. I know it's terrible, isn't it? But see, that's what happens when you have a soulmate and, and you lie to yourself. Oh, my God, Tina, could you just shut up? Seriously, just shut up. What? Whoa. Ah! What was it? Something I said? Uh, I'm going to go and talk to her. Michael told me about your little, um, run-in with Roxy. My dumb brother. I knew he couldn't keep that to himself. Oh, no. Come on. There are no secrets between husbands and wives. And there shouldn't be between you and Natalie, either. I'm not the one she's marrying. That's only because she doesn't know the truth, John, that you love her. Maybe if she knew... What do you want me to do, Marcy? Huh? You want me to go bang on the church doors right before they're saying their vows? I've seen that movie. No, I guess that's not your style. But you know what? There is still a whole day before she starts walking down that aisle, John. I don't think that you should let her get away. Because I really think you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. If you don't already. Thanks, Mom. Okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm fine, really. Seriously. Could have fooled me. Justina, you know, she just drives me absolutely crazy. Uh -huh. She never shuts up, does she? No, she does not. Oh, honey, I think I know what's troubling you. 
Tina was going on and on about Cord and Max, right? And that made you think about Brody and John. Did you have fun with your daddy last night? Are you kidding? We had a blast. <laughs> we always have a blast, right? <laughs> what did we do? We went and we rode the train in the park, the little train, yeah? And then, and we blew the whistle. You should have seen it. He was laughing so hard. And then what did we do? We went home and we watched Chaplin movies, <gasps> right? Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I figured it's kind of like a gateway. There's no words. You should have seen him. He might become the next Spielberg or Coppola. Are you okay? Are you guys ready for matching Oscars? Listen, if it's what he wants to do with his life, I'll support him in anything he does. Right? Oh. What's wrong? I can't take it. Oh. I have to tell the truth about Liam. <laughs> <laughs>